Come on. Welcome to uh, a weekend in the life of Florida Georgia Line. First and foremost, thank you so much to Radio and everybody at the company. Uh, everybody, even our drummer, Radio. Whether it's for tracks, whether it's for DIs, pedals, uh, from the get go, we've always used them. And before they ever got involved, Tyler with uh, Florida Georgia Line. I'm Dan with Florida Georgia Line. Hi, I'm Tom. I play bass. With Florida. With Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> In my immediate rig on the road, uh, I use the SGI system to get from my board to Amp World. We use the Ring Amp uh, to get from our wireless into our boards. We all do. Uh, and then I use the, uh, the ABY, the Twin Cities. It is amazing. And it powers off 9 volt, so you don't have to use the wall one. Uh, we also use a plethora of their DI boxes. I have a uh, touring board and a backup board in, at home, and also on my keyboard actually. Um, I've got the JDI Passive. I use the Twin City on my board for the acoustic and uh, mandolin and uh, ganjos. The PZ Free, I use that, and uh, it's awesome. I love it. It's got a boost, it's got all this parametric EQ. Uh, you can switch between two channels on it. Uh, it's bulletproof. Sounds awesome. I love it. It's, it's been amazing. I think that is about it, aside from what you mentioned. So, I guess my word. I use the JDI Passive. Let's talk about the Firefly. That thing is money. If you're using an Avalon, try the Firefly. Uh, it's a little cleaner. It's a little smoother. It doesn't have the warmth that the Avalon has that kind of makes it muddy in a mix in a bigger room from our front of house guy, is what I was told. And uh, in the ears, it doesn't, it, does, it takes up less room, so it sounds just super clear, punchy, it's great. Firefly, all the way. But I'm a bass player, so that's all I got. <laughs>